Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm back with another video, and this is going to be my um, I melted some I melted some stuff video. And apparently, this is only like a week's worth of stuff, but I melted a lot. Um, yeah, so let's get started because the purpose of doing it weekly now is you know to cut down on the super long videos that I like to make. <laughs> so. Yep, this is an effort to, you know, um, shorten the time. Anyway, um, I melted wild berry mousse zucchini bread from Sniff My Tarts. Um, it was like a humongous chunk, and I cut it into two, and I melted the other half last week, and I melted, uh, the rest of it this week, and this is really good. Wild berry mousse can be overpowering sometimes, and then it starts smelling really strange, like, I don't know, like feet, maybe? <laughs> it's, it was kind of, yeah, I don't know, I liked it, I liked it when I melted the first half, but the second half, I was like, not feeling it, I guess, so then I was like, uh, I'm gonna add something to it, so I added lemon marshmallow to it, I added one tart and of course, you know, lemon marshmallow from front porch like overpowers everything. Like seriously. So it pretty much overpowered the wild berry mousse zucchini bread. So I'm not really sure why I put this in. But if you ever do get this scent, know that it will overpower everything. So maybe put like half or a quarter in if you want to do mix mixology with it. So just my advice. And then I melted caramel apple pie from Candace from the Keeping Room. And I am sick of caramel apple scents. Um, I used to be so into like apple scents, but then I don't know. Well, I I don't know. It's just I guess I wasn't in the mood for it. But I don't know why I melted it. I don't know. Cause I, I think it's because I want to melt off my candles from the keeping keeping room stash because um, I ordered from her when she opened a couple of days ago. So yeah, I need to um, get my my storage ready for it. <laughs> so, I've been melting a lot of candles from the keeping room. Speaking of which, I like melted pink sugar serendipity like three times. I had four tarts in here and I melted the rest and I have one left, which I'm probably going to melt tonight. Um, I'm not really sure if I repurchased this or not because the thing is that I smell a lot of serendipity, but no, wait. Yeah, I smell a lot of serendipity, but not that much pink. Um, her pink is strong, but for this one, her serendipity is stronger, strangely enough. Um, because I remembered in when I got pink sugared green apple, her pink was super, super crazy strong. That's why I had to, like, um, like, I, I couldn't stand anymore, so I just, um, I, I'm not really sure what I did with it. I can't, I forgot, to be honest with you. I think it's either I put in a round robin or... Um, something like that. But, yeah. Uh, the pink sugar green apple was really good. But, yeah. I don't like pink by itself, so. That's why, um, yeah, I, I put in a round robin, I think. Then I melted Sniff My Tarts, Mrs. Claus's Peppermint Cookies Vanilla Marshmallow Smoothie. And, I got no scent. Which is unusual. I think for Sniff My Tarts, but I got no scent whatsoever. There's no peppermint. It's like a, it just smells like sweet sugar. That's about it. Like, smelling this cup, I smell sweet sugar. But then I melted it. I melted it in my light bulb warmer, and that usually performs really well for soy stuff. Um, but like, no scent whatsoever. So that was disappointing. Honestly, I think. I think her sun shots aren't as good as her chunks. Um, I think it's because she uses like a different amount of oils for her for her chunks or something. I think that's what um, they said on their um, fan page. So I wouldn't order sun shots from them because a I don't like sun shots, and um, b I don't think they perform well compared to their chunks. So. Um, so then I got, I was really angry. I was like, ah, oh, why does no sense? So I decided to melt one tart of apple lavender. Haley, tell me sense. And you know, this is the bomb. You just put in one and like, 
it's just like super strong and the throw is super like it's just awesome the throw is awesome basically like you just put one of this this is i think this is like this isn't even like one ounce one i put in one angel tar i think it's like 0.5 ounce or something but it was like amazing or 0.7 i'm not really sure but that is an amazing scent i think um Haley's Heavenly Scents will be opening up maybe next week. But honestly, the owner, she's not Janet. She's not, I don't, she just, you know, got out from surgery like a week ago or something. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to order from her or wait until February. I'm not sure. Because I don't want to, like, give her more stress. Because I, I probably will be ordering a lot. But, um, yeah, whatever. And then I melted Ultimate Bakery for, by Front Porch, and this is is actually surprisingly decent. Um, I don't. This definitely has hot apple pie that scent in it, and it has pink. And I think I smelled some cookies or something like that. It was okay. I think I wrote some notes on it. Um. Okay. It says I smell apple pie. Buttercream and pink sugar. So, buttercream. Yeah. But, like, it was, like, super strong in, like, the first couple of hours. Like, maybe the first first and second hour that I was melting. And then, like, it just fizzled out. Like, very... Not a lot of scent at all after that. So, it's, it's fine because I don't really like it. I don't really like apple pie. But, like, I can stand it because the pink and the buttercream is in it. And then I melted, um... Ghost Munch by Sugar and Spice, and this was interesting. When I, when I first melted it, I was like, "What does this smell?" I didn't really smell anything, but then like, like a couple of maybe like an hour or half an hour passed, and then I could smell um, caramel apple. Um, I think candy corn is in this. I'm not, I'm not really sure if there's popcorn in this, but it smells like popcorn for some reason. And this was good, but as I told you before, I don't. I'm not really into caramel apple scents anymore, so I, yeah, I didn't, um, I wouldn't order this again, but I will say her, her scent throw is really good, like, the scent throw from her stuff is really good, and then I melted Amish Zucchini Bread by Tiffany Candles, and this is okay, um, the scent throw was, um, light to medium, but then, like, it's, it just smells like plastic, to me, and like, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't purchase this again, I don't know why it smelled like plastic to me, but then I was like, oh, it doesn't smell like, um, bakery enough, so I was, I added cake shop to it, and, um, this didn't have a throw, this didn't really have a scent either, so, I'm not really sure why I added, added this to it, so, yeah, all in all, that was like a, a mix, a fail mix, or whatever. Okay, and then I melted minty pink. I believe... I Yeah, I put in two, because this was like a full pack. I put in two um, sunny tarts of minty pink. And this is amazing. This, um... You get, you get mint, and then you get pink. And it actually lasted a really long time. I put this in at night. Um, and then by morning time, it was like... It was mostly pink. Not much mint left, I think. Yeah, it was it was mostly pink and not much mint, but I still liked it. I like I really like Shay scents, her pink scents. Um, I think she had like a couple of sales, and then I won one of her Facebook games. So I made like um, two orders, I think. So I hope it's gonna be. I asked her to combine it, so hopefully it's gonna be combined. I think I ordered minty pink again. I'm not really sure. I think I did. I'm sure I ordered Pink Serendipity because that is my favorite scent from her. Um, and then I melted Peppermint Mocha uh, Cafe. And I think I got this when I won Sherry's giveaway. Sherry? I don't know. But it smells... It is a very interesting scent. First of all, it's coffee. And then you get chocolate. And then you get peppermint. That's a very strange scent. You don't usually smell that. You don't usually get that from vendors, but... I surprisingly enjoyed it, um, because the, the coffee wasn't super strong, the peppermint wasn't, like, super overpowering, like, all her peppermint scents were, are, 
And the chocolate was not, not sweet. The chocolate was bitter, which I like. So I, I enjoyed that. Like, if she ever has that out in, like, a four-pack, I might buy it. I might buy it. Okay, and then I melted Frosted Cinnamon Cream by Sniff My Tarts. This was like a Hello Kitty face, head. <laughs> um, and the strange thing is, um, when I was melting this, I decided to make myself a cup of um, the Salted Caramel Chai Latte from Trader Joe's. Oh my god, it was so weird. I, I really like the scent at um, of that chai latte. But then I smelled this, I'm like, this smells the same. Except this doesn't have caramel in it. This has, it's just like a cinnamon, butter cinnamon, like a buttercream cinnamon scent. So I was confused. And then I finished the latte and then I, and then, um, then I smelled this again. I'm like, oh, it didn't really have a scent. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I think this was, this was okay, but... I wouldn't, I wouldn't purchase this again, because it wasn't that strong. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's because of that drink. It was too strong, so it, like, kind of overpowered my room or something, which is really strange. But, yeah, that's very strange. So I, I wouldn't order that, but it was a sample, so it was, it was generous of them to give me a sample, but, um, I don't know. Maybe I, I would mix that with something, the frosted cinnamon cream, instead of just having it alone. Okay, and then I melted um, hot, honey buttered hot rolls by Cross Creek Country Candles. And oh my god, guys. I melted this and not even halfway through. Um, my brother, he was like, what? My, my door was closed, right? And he was like, he started screaming. He's like, what the hell is that scent? It smells like, <laughs> it smells like shit in here. And I was like, what? And then I was like, oh my god. This, this guy smells like feet. Like, honestly, I do not like to say that. But this smells like feet. Like, nasty, like, like, athlete's foot feet is so bad. I think it's the honey, and then the butter, and then the yeasty note. It just... Oh my god, it was disgusting. So before it even melted, before it even, like, finished melting, I just, like, dumped it. I couldn't take it anymore. It was, oh my god. It was disgusting. So I would not order this again. But I will say that it was strong. So, um, I think I still have some left from r the round robin that I did. So I will melt those, and those are in pleasant scents, like Fruit Loops. So I will melt that, and I think I will get a strong scent throw from that. So, yeah. Um, and then I melted but Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie Zucchini, and from Candles from the Keeping Room. I don't, re I don't remember that scent, to be honest with you. <clears throat> I don't even remember melting it. But I think I put the Zucchini Bread Smells Good, but the Blackberry Jam is perfumey. Yeah, that's basically, that's basically how I feel about her blackberry jam, is it's very perfumey. Um, and then I decided to melt Front Porch's blackberry butter jam cookies, and this is so much better. Like, I wouldn't get this again because I don't really enjoy, I don't really enjoy it, but I think the sun throw was much better than the blackberry jam um, butter cookies from Candles from the Keeping Room. I have two left, and I also have, like, the pink version, so... But that should be okay, because the pink is kind of perfumey, and the blackberry jam is kind of perfumey, so it, like, offsets. Um, it mixes together well. And so, um, because, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it, I added, uh, one tart of Ultimate Sugar Cookie in it, and this smells... This alone smells, um, really light. But you add it to the blackberry jam butter cookies, and it smells, like... It instantly sweetens it up, and it makes it into, like, a more bakery, like a super bakery note, like a, you know, like, a super saiyan bakery note. I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't know. Do you need a, do you need me to, like, show you, like, a, a, a gif of a super saiyan? I don't know. When it's, like, charging, when they're, like, charging up and stuff. So, um, um, and then I melted English breakfast zucchini bread. And this, guys... I don't know. It was disappointing. 
which is strange because I melted this before and it smelled ridiculously strong and delicious. I don't know if it's my warmer's fault or maybe because this is in a different shape, but I had to melt three of the toasts. And I think in the other, the other one, the sample I tried, I think it was in a loaf, like a little small loaf. So maybe that's why I got a better sun throw off of that instead of this. But this was three toasts. And I don't know, I got six pieces of toast and I was like, wow, like the sun throw was not strong whatsoever. And I'm so disappointed because this smells so damn good. <sighs> so I will melt this again and see how it goes. Oh, maybe, maybe because I used a different warmer. I don't really know what warmer did I use for that. I put this in the warmer that I used before because all my paraffin tarts, I put it in my hot plate because I don't really like putting it in my light bulb because it performs okay but not as well as my hot plate. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. We'll see. I didn't order this again because I was disappointed. So hopefully, you know, I, I think I got some other zucchini breads. So whatever. All right. And then I melted pink sugar marshmallow. I melted pink, I melted one and then I was like, I smell nothing because her pink sugar is super light and her marshmallow scent is okay but not as good as the marshmallow scent I think from Candles from the Keeping Room. I love the marshmallow scent from Candles from the Keeping Room, strangely enough. So like this was a four pack and I melted a four pack in a week which is very strange for me because I don't usually melt more than once a week I think. So I put two in I was like I don't smell anything. I smell like light pink sugar, but like no throw whatsoever. So then I put in two uh, pieces of Jack Frost. And I was like, yeah, that's right. Jack Frost, like the bathing garden never really um, disappoints me. So I, it was really good. It smelled pretty good. So it was just pink sugar with Jack Frost. Really good. And then again, I melted two of these tarts, the last two, and I melted it with one sugar cookie dough bread and that was amazing because her sugar cookie dough bread is amazing so that was pink sugar cookie dough bread which I love so I was really happy but I don't have any more pinks to add to this I don't have like a individual pink scent I think no I have pink toasty marshmallows from Shea Scents woohoo all right I'm set then okay and then I melted cherry lime cotton candy and you smell this and you're like it's not gonna throw but oh my god, it throws like crazy. You, you, I put one tart in and I was like, mm, it's not really going to do anything. I might have to add another one. But oh my god, it is so strong and it is so good. You get cherry and you get lime. The lime is actually more dominant than the cherry, believe it or not. And it is so sweet and it's, it's just wonderful. I, I, I don't know. I don't think I reordered this, but I have three tarts left. And I'm not really in a rush to melt this, so I'm going to savor this. Really good. Okay. And then I melted pink raspberry macaroon. Hopefully the macaroon is the coconut, but I have to say there's no coconut scent in this, so I think it's the macaron. Okay. So um, I got pink and I got a lot, a lot of raspberry. This was so overpowering. The raspberry was so, so overpowering that I had to pour this out. It was just crazy. Like, the raspberry didn't smell like fresh raspberry. Either it was like a jammy raspberry, which I don't like. So, it was good for a while, and then I got sick of it, so I had to pour it out. My nose is very finicky, and my, like, my personality, I am very, um, jumpy. And, like, I don't really like, like, I don't know. Like, um, I don't stick to, like, one thing and then, like, stick with it. I have to, I jump around a lot, so I'm not really, um, I don't know how to say it. But, like, my mom always complains. My parents, they always complain to me. They're like, why can't you stick to one thing at, like, do one thing? Because I have lots of hobbies, and, like, I don't know. When I was younger, I was, like, obsessed with stickers, with collecting stickers, and then... I was obsessed with, and then my next, like, obsession was collecting, um, manga. I don't know if you ever heard, it's just, like, Japanese comic books, but then I have, like, a, like, four bookcases full of manga, which is terrible, but 
I read them, so it's fine. And then my next obsession was nail polish, and oh my god, that was a costly obsession, especially since I was into indie nail polish, not like the the regular retail nail polish. Oh my god, that was terrible. And now my new obsession is wax, and this is also a very costly obsession, but like, I don't know. Our, our taste changes over time, so that's what, that's... That's how I'm thinking. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's really bad. But enough about my life. Sorry for rambling about my life. But um, anyway, I also melted pink sugared wafers. And this is like a very light scent. I think I melted two of them because I had two left. And yeah, obviously I don't have any left now. So I melted two of them, and it wasn't strong. I remember it being stronger than that. So I was disappointed. It's it's a very nice pink set, very soft um, pink set with a little bit bakery because for uh, because of the wafers. It was okay. I didn't reorder this. So um, and then I melted pink cookies. Um, I have a front porch video that I have not posted up yet. But this was from my um, very current front porch front porch order. But I just decided to melt this because I already made the video. And I'm waiting on um, the last order so I could put it up. I can add up all my videos and put it up. And this this is just a single. And this smells delicious. This smells exactly like the pink sugar cookie dough bread. Her cookie scent. This is not really like her cookie cookie scent it's more like a sugar cookie dough bread scent so this was amazing hopefully when she like puts it up I'll I'll like buy a lot of it <laughs> um, unless I get it from um Haley's Heavenly Scents but I don't know if she still has the oil um so we'll see um and then I melted tea time from front porch as you can see I'm also trying to use it my front porch because I ordered a lot you will see that probably next week the video. I will post that up next week. And this smells like, um, um, it smells like lemon tea, but the tea is stronger than the lemon, but you still get like a lemon scent. It smells really good. It's really, really strong. I put in one tart. It scented up the entire room for like a whole, a whole, the whole day. So this is really good. I'm not sure if I ordered this again, but I have three tarts left, so I will use that. Um, and then I melted Holiday Relish from Candles from the Keeping Room. And this is orange, um, cranberry, and some other citrus notes. And so it smells really nice. It, it has a funny sour smell to it, though. I think it's because of the orange. But it's okay. I like it. I enjoyed it. This was super powerful. Um, you can, like, just smell it off of the, um, without untying the tie. You can just smell, like, how strong it is. And then I melted blueberry cheesecake. Um, this was uh, like a canned blueberry scent. I don't really get a creamy note from the cheesecake. It's okay. Um, I don't really like blueberry scents that much, I guess. Unless it like really hits me. Maybe like a blueberry zucchini scent. That would be really nice. Um, and then I melted Fruit Loops toasted marshmallow. And that was my second to last, but uh, I have one left and I have a no I have an 8-ounce bag coming, so really good. This is a delicious Fruit Loop scent. The marshmallow, I just love her marshmallow, so I enjoyed it. And then I melted two cubes from Fuss Ass McGee. I haven't melted Fuss Ass McGee in a long time because I haven't really been impressed with their products. You'll see why next. And this is Caramel Nut. This is one of her stronger scents. Her stronger bakery scents. Her bakery scents are um, lacking. They're very subpar. Um, her floral and relaxation scents are so much better. Um, but these were. This was really strong. It smells like um, nuts with cinnamon. The caramel I don't really get. Maybe a little bit. It makes it a little bit smooth, but it's just nuts with caramel, which is really good. And then the biggest disappointment of the week was nightcap and it was in like a four to five ounce humongo thingy and I put in half of it in my light bulb warmer got nothing 
then I put in the rest of the half and it overfilled my um, warmer so I was like Ugh, I was so annoyed oh my god I was so annoyed but I was like forget it I just poured out some of it and then left the rest of it in and it smelled like nothing um now that I think about it, I got like a li only a little bit of like a minty scent because this was like a like a lavender and then marshmallow or vanilla cream something with um, mint. So it was like a really good scent off cold throw, but like I got nothing hot, like warm, nothing, absolutely nothing, and it was like this humongous thing. It's ridiculous. I don't think like I left this in my storage that for that long, and I think they. They, um, their wax is soy, too, so, whatever, man. I'm not going to order from this company again unless I finish up my cucumber mints because that's my favorite scent from them, but I still have a plenty left, so it'll be a while. And then I finished up my last Serendipity Marshmallow Delight, and this is more marshmallow than Serendipity. It's like a crazy marshmallow scent. This was really good, but I did not reorder this again because, um, her Serendipity wasn't strong enough. Usually for this, I would like a balance between both, but her marshmallow just overpowered everything. Not bad, but I went repurchase. And then I melted the three little uh, flute like tart thingies from Scented Princess Ultimate Vanilla Eucalyptus Spearmint. Amazing! Her Ultimate Vanilla is so good. Creamy, sweet, delicious. Her Eucalyptus Spearmint, amazing. Super minty super good like you can fall asleep to this scent it was so relaxing i love it i would order this again um yeah i would order this again once i finish off the rest of my um scented princess because i still have a lot left and then i added then i mixed winter fall with cucumber melon i added half a cucumber melon and a full winter fall because winter fall is not that strong so it was very sweet once again because her cucumber melon is super strong. It was very, very sweet. Um, her peppermint is not the peppermint that I like because it's like really sweet for some reason. I don't know. So I would not order that again. But it, it was a very good scent throw. So I will say that. And then I melted a mystery tart from Sons of Princess. And this is basically Fruit Loops with um, probably like strawberry or something like that, and it was amazing. It was like this humongous chunk. Um, but I will say it did not last for a long time. Maybe it lasted for two or three hours, and then like the scent was just like, gone. But I did like this. Her Fruit Loops is really good, so I would recommend Fruit Loops from her. Then I melted two lavender lavender serendipity from Shays. Amazing, super strong. One was strong, but two, amazing really good you get lavender and you get serendipity that's very rare very rare that you can smell both of them at the same time like the serendipity really complemented the lavender well and the lavender really complemented the serendipity well so i would get this if you like both scents they're not too overpowering one does not overpower the other so amazing and then the last one what i'm melting now is long cane primitives lala's almost paradise cookie and now this is called um, Nana's, um, Beyond Paradise Cookie. But, I'm melting this now, and this is so good. I was skeptical because it smelled kind of funky, but it's like, it's like a tart scent, but it's sweet. It's like a tart, sweet, maybe like a, maybe it's like her rhubarb strawberry or something without the strawberry. But you get the cookie. Her cookie scent is so good. It's so creamy, buttery, so good. I will be ordering from them maybe in February or something, but so good. So anyway, um, my efforts to shorten my videos was pretty much, it was a pretty f uh, poor effort because <laughs> I talk too much. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great week and goodbye.